Hey guys, Ernie here and welcome to the Paleo Hiker MD channel. About a year, a year and a half ago, I did a video on five pieces of gear that I would not purchase again if given the opportunity. Well, it's that time again. Let's take a look at five pieces of gear that I would not buy again if I had a time machine. Thanks for watching. First off is a couple of alcohol stoves, the Esbit alcohol burner and the Solo stove burner. There are two reasons I wouldn't buy these stoves. First of all, just uh, just buy a Trangia. I mean, if you want something that works like a Trangia, just get a Trangia. The other reason is you should just buy the Red Camp version. The Red Camp is the same. You can look at the bottom. These are exactly the same. You take off the tops. They're basically exactly the same. These are copies of the Trangia and actually copies of the Red Camp. The Red Camp is a lot cheaper. So if you don't want to spend a little bit of extra money on the Trangia, like a couple of dollars, go ahead and buy the Red Camp because these two are actually more expensive than the original Trangia. Bought these for videos, would not buy them again. Next is the Katadyne B-Free water filter. My experiences with this filter are well documented here on the channel. I don't like it. I think it clogs very easily. It's somewhat difficult to clean. I know a lot of people really like this, so this may be somewhat controversial, but I don't like it. I don't like this. I won't use it again. It's just not convenient for me. If you're in a situation where the water isn't super clear and it kind of clogs it up, the only way to clear it out is to flush it. And if you already don't have good water, you're not going to have water to flush it. That's what was my problem when I went backpacking with this, so wouldn't buy this again. Now, when I bought the Climate Pillow X, I was pretty excited, but that excitement wore off very quickly. So I bought this looking for a way to sleep more comfortably in my hammock, and I actually slept less comfortably. I've never reviewed this product. Um, it's been in my shop for a couple of years, and I just, I guess I should review it and tell you that I don't like it, but I guess ultimately this video will tell you that. It's just not comfortable. I still rather use some rolled up clothes or my down jacket to use as a pillow. It's just not worth even the small amount of weight that it is. Something about the way these ridges interact with your face and your head, it's just, it's just not good. Having something filled with air, I found for me just doesn't work. I need that more solid uh, down feeling to make it more comfortable. Some people may love this, I do not. I've tried it and I just can't sleep with it. Next is a trio of GSI products, three for one, you might say. Now, normally I have very good results from GSI products, but can't win them all, I guess. First GSI product is this frying pan. You can see the condition of the nonstick surface. It's basically useless. Uh, I take very good care of my gear, and I don't understand why this happened, so no go on the frying pan from GSI. I also love the little mug from GSI, so I thought maybe I would like this Fair Share mug. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just a little bit too big, and I've never found a real good use for it. I've never actually really used it in a video or taken it out camping, so obviously I don't think I would buy it again. And last is a stove, and I saw this on the shelf, and I thought, well, you know, it's kind of a novelty. Maybe we'll try it. Yeah, it just doesn't work very well. I don't know what it is. It's not very resistant to the wind. It's uh, big and bulky. You can't pack it away at all. I just don't like the product and wouldn't buy it again. Last is this Zippo fire starter. Not my favorite fire starter. So this thing looks cool, and, and I guess it's cool if you uh, don't have a lot of experience making fires. It's not very hard to replicate, and there's no reason to spend the money on something like this. It's bulky, uh, and as fire starters go, it's pretty expensive. Also, another major problem is like these fire starters have not been in here too long and they are hard as rocks. Like I don't think that they really last very long. And that's a big issue because if you want something for an emergency, for example, it needs to be able to be a little more shelf stable. The way it works is you have those that are kind of impregnated with a fire starter and then you just have the right way here, a flint to light it. This is a nice flint but the flint itself isn't worth the price of this whole thing. Many often say in my videos that I discuss fire starters just to use cotton balls and Vaseline, and in this case, you might be right. Like I said, the Sparker's great, but you could get that in a much smaller package. Concept is good, execution is bulky, and not good. Sometimes I buy gear for myself, for trips, to take out into the wilderness. 
Sometimes I buy gear specifically to review here on the channel. Now this list is made up of gear that I bought for a variety of different reasons, but they all end up in the same category. I simply would not buy them again. Now for the most part, products work just fine, but for the reasons I mentioned above, these have fallen short of my expectations and I just don't like them. And therefore I really can't recommend them. Over time, you learn what you like and what you don't like. Some of you may have these items and love them. Some of you may be looking at purchasing them and are looking for an honest opinion. If you do and you really like them, let me know down in the comments if you've had similar issues with them and you don't like them. We can also learn from that too. Also, let me know in the comments one or two pieces of gear you've purchased that you wish you could send right back and you'd never bought before. I'll leave a link down below to the first video of my five pieces of gear I would not buy again. Do me a favor guys, if you like the video, hit the thumbs up down below. It really helps spread things across YouTube and helps my channel out tremendously. If you're not subscribed, hit the subscription button. And if you wanna make sure my videos show up on your video feed, hit that notification bell because you are not always notified when I release new videos. I'm always trying out new stuff and trying to be honest with you guys about what works and what doesn't work. As always guys, I appreciate you checking out the Paleo Hiker MD channel. Stay tuned for more videos soon.